So I just finished writing this book and it's published and the title of the book is misleading because it says from mountains to medicine, scaling the heights in search of my purpose. So some people get the idea that this is just about mountains and no, it's not at all. I mean, yes, it's about mountains, but mountains as metaphors. And the mountain climbing part is in the last half of the book. The first part of the book is about knowing that I had a purpose in life, but didn't really know how to find it. And I discovered that I needed to first find out who I am, who my real authentic self is. Not from all the wounds from childhood and the mistaken ideas about myself. So I had to have a massive catastrophe happen, a breakdown, which forced me to examine my entire life and helped me really enter into a whole different life, which was my, my true self. And then I could start the journey to seeking my soul's longing, what I'm here for, my destiny. And it took me 10 years and it ended up going full circle because I come from three generations of doctors. So why didn't I realize it's in my DNA? Well, because I had a misconception. Partly by my family, we were very critical of each other. And there were two geniuses in my family. And so I always thought I was stupid, even though I got straight A's and everything. And also I had an uncle, it was the only doctor I ever knew, who was a true genius. So I wrote that off as any possibility for me. <laughs> so, but then I discovered when I was doing all this mountaineering, came back and taught for Outward Bound and got my master's in outdoor education. I, I took a few advanced placement science courses because I tested out of them at college and I discovered that everybody in my class was pre-med except for me. And I, I had a huge epiphany. These were not geniuses. And I thought, oh my God, they got to where they are because they're good at memorizing. There's no critical thinking. There's no saying, why is this? And, and how do we know this is true? Nothing like that, just spitting back what they learn. I thought, I can do that. I, in England, when I was a little girl, we had to memorize long poems that I didn't even understand what they meant. But I was really good at it, so I thought, oh my God, I've spent 10 years looking for my destiny and it's right in front of my nose. But those 10 years were incredibly valuable. And the, the role the mountains played is I learned how to trust myself, I learned how to overcome fear, I learned how to get to the top by putting one step in front of the other and, and not giving up. And I learned how to work with a team and we all help save each other, protect each other. I learned so many things that were important to me as a doctor. I learned that I love to educate and I, it's not about just giving pills, it's about empowering the people with information so when I was teaching the Navajo people, I was conveying information to them, but it was information that would empower them, that was useful, and I delivered it with a lot of love. And that was really transformative. So I used everything I learned on that 10-year odyssey to help me be a better doctor. <laughs>